It's no longer news that the world's population is ever increasing. It's no longer news that it's going to be tough to feed the extra mouths. It's no longer news that climate change is turning fresh water into our planet's most scarce resource, and that this scarcity challenges our planet's very ability to sustain life. Thorium is a naturally occurring nuclear fuel that is four times more common in the Earth's crust than uranium. It can be used in liquid fluoride thorium reactors to produce electrical energy, heat, and other valuable products. It's so energy dense that you can hold a lifetime supply of thorium energy in the palm of your hand. Right now we're burning fossil fuels because they're easy to find and because we can. Unfortunately, they're making some parts of our planet look like the moon. Using fossil fuels entangles us in conflict in unstable regions of the world and costs money and lives. Things could be very different if we were using thorium. You see, in a lifter, we could use thorium about 200 times more efficiently than we're using uranium now. And because the lifter is capable of almost completely releasing the energy in thorium, this reduces the waste generated over uranium by factors of hundreds and by factors of millions over fossil fuels. We're still going to need liquid fuels for vehicles and machinery, but we could generate these liquid fuels from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and from water, much like nature does. We could generate hydrogen by splitting water and combining it with carbon harvested from CO2 in the atmosphere, making fuels like methanol, ammonia, and dimethyl ether, which could be a direct replacement for diesel fuels. Imagine carbon neutral gasoline and diesel, sustainable and self-produced. Do we have enough thorium? Yes, we do. In fact, in the United States, we have over 3,200 metric tons of thorium that was stockpiled 50 years ago and is currently buried in a shallow trench in Nevada. This thorium, if used in lifters, could produce almost as much energy as the United States uses in three years. And thorium is not a rare substance either. There are many sites like this one in Idaho, where an area the size of a football field would produce enough thorium each year to power the entire world. Using liquid fluoride thorium technology, we could move away from expensive and difficult aspects of current water-cooled, solid-fueled uranium nuclear power. We wouldn't need large, high-pressure nuclear reactors and big containment buildings that they go in. We wouldn't need large, low-efficiency steam turbines. We wouldn't need to have as many long-distance power transmission infrastructure because thorium is a very portable energy source that can be located near to where it is needed. A liquid fluoride thorium reactor would be a compact facility, very energy efficient and safe, that would produce the energy we need day and night and without respect to weather conditions. In 2007, we used 5 billion tons of coal, 31 billion barrels of oil, and 5 trillion cubic meters of natural gas, along with 65,000 tons of uranium to produce the world's energy. With thorium, we could do the same thing with 7,000 tons of thorium that could be mined at a single site. If all this sounds interesting to you, I invite you to visit our website where a growing and enthusiastic online community of thorium advocates is working to tell the world about how we can realize a clean, safe, and sustainable energy future based on the energies of thorium. Thank you very much.